Objection, Your Honor, there's no foundation for that question. Would you like to learn what that means? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. When you're watching a trial and you see an attorney jump up in the middle and yell out, objection, there's no foundation. What he's really saying is he doesn't like the way I asked the question. He's really saying I have not laid the groundwork that I need to get from this witness so that he or she can then establish or answer that particular question. Let me give you an example. Let's say I have a doctor on the witness stand and he's the doctor that you're suing. Now, I could ask him as my very first question, Doctor, tell us why did you operate on the wrong side of the brain? Or I could ask him, Doctor, isn't it true you operated on the wrong side of the brain? Objection! There's no foundation for that question, the defense attorney yells. So, instead, I could ask a different series of questions. Doctor, Mrs. Jones was your patient, true? You treated her over a number of years, true? And in fact, you recommended that she have brain surgery, correct? And in fact, you are a neurosurgeon, a brain surgeon, is that true? And on this particular date, you operated on this patient, true? And your intention was to operate on the right side of the brain to remove this tumor, correct? Yes. Well, in fact, doctor, you didn't operate on the right side of the brain, true? Yes. In fact, you operated on the left side of the brain, is that true? Yes. And would you agree, doctor, that there's, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the patient's left side of the brain, true? Yes. And so I can ask a whole series of questions to build up a foundation to show to the jury that this doctor, number one, knows the patient, treated the patient, uh, recommended the surgery, and operated on the patient. That's the foundation, that's the groundwork. On the other hand, I am within my right to ask the doctor the very first key question, which is, doctor, isn't it true that you operated on the wrong side of the brain? And now, all of a sudden, I'll get an objection. The judge will either agree or disagree. So why don't I share this quick tidbit of information with you? Well, I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on during the trial in a medical malpractice case here in the state of New York. You know, chances are you're watching this because you probably have questions of your own, your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you have legal questions, pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. I answer questions like yours every single day and I welcome your call. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at law. MED10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.